today we're going to make some fairly nice old-fashioned type uh, braised lamb shank. So we've got some nice lamb shanks, some garlic, salt, pepper, some fresh thyme. So we're going to season it up first with a little bit of uh, olive oil. Um, then we're going to brown that off. Then add onions, carrots, a little bit of um, tomato uh, sugo, and then add um, some liquid to that and basically braise it for around about two and a half hours. So it takes quite a while. And then after it's nine tenths cooked, um, we uh, take it to another level after that. Okay, so in a bowl we just put the lamb shanks, a little olive oil, just enough to stick the seasonings, a good bit of garlic, some fresh thyme, salt, white pepper, and that's it. Now with these lamb shanks we don't add flour, a lot of people will sort of roll their lamb shanks in flour, but we try and keep them gluten free, um, and they brown up just as nice, and the flavour is just as nice. Okay, so now we're going to cook the lamb shanks, um, just seal them, get them nice and uh, brown on the outside. So we've got a hot non-stick pan here. Don't have to put any oil in the pan because we've already got the uh, olive oil that we put on the lamb shanks um, with all the seasoning. So just put that in. Put that in. Make sure you get all your goodies in there. Turn it down. So you just want to get a nice colour on on the lamb and to get some flavour started in there. So now I'll add just a little bit of olive oil, some diced onions. We'll just get a little bit of colour on those as well. So all the vegetables going in here is basically what you end up serving it with. So make sure you cut things nicely, nice consistent size, and have carrots, and then we're going to finish it later with some zucchini just towards the end. Put the carrots in now. Just a nice slice of carrots is fine. Again, just make sure they're consistent so that they all cook evenly. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So we're going to put about half of this vegetable mixture in the bottom. Just to give it a little base so that the lamb doesn't have a chance of sticking on the bottom. Depends on what pan you use, sometimes it can. So we put one in one way. So the shape of them, and then the other one, the other way, in there nicely, and then we'll put the, the rest of the veggies on top, along with the herbs, garlic and that that it was originally marinated in, and all we'll get scattered along there. So a little bit of the tomato. That'd be enough. And then you can use a chicken stock, um, or even in this case, we're just using water because that way you'll get all that lamb flavor come through. But you can use a chicken stock. So just pretty much cover the, the shanks. Then I like to put a piece of grease proof paper on the top, press it down, and then a, either a lid or you can just use foil if you like. Um, if you're using a slow cooker, obviously just put the lid on. And that's it, ready to go in the oven. 
see how nice they are. But you'll notice how much fat there is on top. So what we're going to do now is strain, strain that off. Most of the liquid, I'll leave a little bit in there. And you can tell how tender that lamb is there. It's almost falling off the bone already. So, so what we're gonna do now is just sprinkle the zucchinis in. Put the paper back on, the lid back on, and we'll just pop it back in the oven for about 10, 10 minutes. So the vegetables that we've strained, we actually will put that back into the dish. So I'll just skim the fat off what we can at the moment. Just use a ladle. And you'll see that's like at least a full ladle of fat there. And what happens if you don't skim that fat off and you boil the liquid it will just emulsify into the liquid and then basically become very oily and not a very nice mouthfeel. A hot pan on the stove and we'll just pour that liquid in and it should reduce quite quickly. You've got to make sure you don't put too much salt in the initial cooking liquid sort of just enough to season it because what will happen now is the liquid reduces it will get saltier so if you put too much in to start with um, you'll end up it'll be too salty just need two or three spoons and that will just give it a nice shine just add that last little bit of flavor to it and that looks really good So now we'll pour the finished gravy over the lamb shanks. And there we have our beautiful lamb shanks. It's a little chef hack for if you want to do nice quenelles and mashed potato at home. A little bit of plastic, get a large spoon, put it on like that and basically wrap the spoon in the plastic, squeeze it down and as you'll see shortly you'll get a nice quenelle of potato just like a three star restaurant. So here, here's some creamy mashed potato which I've just made, seasoned nicely and what we do then is we get our spoon and we literally just roll it like so and you'll end up with a nice quenelle, how's that? Okay, so now we are going to serve our beautiful lamb shank. Some of the veggies just on top. Make sure you get a little bit of carrot. And then lots of gravy. Okay. So we're going to top this with gramolata, which is chopped parsley, grated lemon zest, and a little bit of garlic. And we'll just sprinkle that on top. And that just gives it a really nice, fresh zest. Okay, there we go.